Hey everybody, it's William Christopher Ford. I'm back here in San Marcos, California in the NRK Dojo owned by my good friends and St. Marcos McCammon. Now today's episode is special and unique to me because I got a chance to train in the Okinawan art of Ryuei Karate. And I got to train with the great Sensei Tomohiro Arashiro. So that being said, let's get to training. I am 51 years old. I've been a practitioner of Okinawan Shorin Ryu Karate since I was seven. There were some who would call me a master. I assure you, I am not. I believe that the true expert is someone who still has a student's heart and a beginner's mind. This year, to celebrate turning 52, I'm setting out to learn from 52 other disciplines, each from its own master. Some things I've tried before, others, I'm a first day beginner, like anyone else. 52 weeks, 52 new skills. Christopher Ford, and this is 52 Masters. Up, right foot forward, come on. Now, gas you, okay, and then up, 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 Turn, big turn, three quarter turn, pull back. That's the very first kata. Yes. Uh, I like it very much. <laughs> and it's more challenging than I thought it would be. Oh. The, the footwork is, uh, is very cool. Mm -hmm. uh, I love the elbows. Uh -huh. And I, I think I need to practice it about 9,000 more times. But, uh, <laughs> hey. So, this, okay, easy block and attack is you can slowly you kick front, yep. so he can touch, ah, right? Yeah. So if you do same time, back hand, right, you go same time, so, and also you are outside, uh -huh. so he, he, even though he, he is, he's back this way. This one seems very good for kumite. Yes. You know, it's very, yes. very practical. Yes. Yes. So those, those, those kind of, uh, you know, you can try this in the Thank you. Thank you so much. I really enjoyed the training. Um, some very different things, very interesting. Now, you are from mm. Okinawa originally. What part of Okinawa did you say we're from? It's called Nago. It's uh, north part of Japan, uh, Okinawa. So okay. Sorry. And you said you started training in karate at about 14 years old. Yes. Now, what were you, did you ever think about karate before that time? You know, the, I like always the, like, like a martial arts, uh. like a judo, sumo, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. We have the Okinawa the special sumo things mm -hmm. that we hold the beginning time. So mm -hmm. those kind of things, uh, I love, I love mm -hmm. those kind of things. So, you know, it's, it's, I think yeah, yeah. It's, it's not too bad to get into the karate, but 
Now, uh, it's very simple things. My friend asked me to go, you know, learn karate with him. Okay. That's the, that's the, the <laughs> I started karate. This was uh, Mr. Matsuda. Matsuda san. Yes. Uh, hi. So and, and he's still alive. Yeah? Yes, yes. yes. Living yes. in Okinawa. Y yes. Okay. Well, yeah. that's good to know. Yes. Uh -huh. So, from what I understand, he was um, he introduced you to karate because the uh, principal at the time was uh, karate man. Yes, Nakaima Kenko Sensei. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And you got introduced to him through. Um, your friend, and he agreed to take. He, he. How did that? How did that work? How did he agree to? Uh, actually, the his father was a, a PTA prison oh, okay. at the same school that the Nakayama Kenko Sensei was okay. a principal. Mm -hmm. So we didn't know he he does karate. Oh, he was okay. soke. <laughs> Got so it. also he does kendo. So we know that he he does a kendo. Go to the manager Japan. Okay. But uh, Matsuda's father told. You know, Matsuda, you know. So, hey, uh, oh no. Actually, the Matsuda asked his father, hey, I want to take a karate lesson. Okay. So, okay, okay, where are you going to go? Mm. So, a little far away. So, mm. only they have a karate dojo in the, about uh, 30 minutes by bus, you know, from his house to the, this town. Okay. So, but the Matsuda's father said, hey, the Kocho sensei, which is a principal, does a karate. He, he can teach you guys. Mm. So anyways, you, yourself is very tough to continue. So you pick one your friend so you can go together. So that's a study. <laughs> so that was your karate buddy? Yes. Okay, yes. got it. Yeah. So Ryuei Ryu was considered to be a family art, right? And yes. it was like passed on from father to son or yes. you know, within the family. Yes. So. I'm curious as to how you and your friend got in, because it seemed like it was kind of a closed club, and yet you still were able to. Uh, yeah, actually, the, my friend Matsuda, his father was a principal. I'm no, his father was a PTA president. Mm -hmm. So the the Soke was Nakayama Kenko Sensei was a, that school the principal. Okay. So they they know each other. They close, and also Nakayama Kenko Sensei. Uh, thought no more secret anymore. The, the you know the time is changing, oh. so it's not necessary. So that uh, he can teach anybody you know out of the family. I got it. That's the main things actually. So that was a good. Just the timing was right. Exactly. And you, yes. You you got a, you you had that connection because of yes. the, I, I see. So what was the training like at first? So begin, beginning time you know the Nakama Kenko say you know the didn't think we we're gonna continue doing karate. Okay. But the first time he tried, hey, come to my house about the five o'clock evening. Okay. So, okay, okay, you guys have a br bring the brooms, clean my yard, mm. okay, pick the weeds. So we start that one, okay, and then so, and then sensei, we finished. So can we learn the karate? Oh, you can go home. <laughs> so come back, you know, a couple of days, you know, later. Okay. Same, same kind of idea. Okay, you know, and then we did keep doing. Mm. Well, how, long, how long did they go? Oh. About, about not too long, but a month. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, it's not yeah. some some people wouldn't have lasted two days. They would have been like, "What is this? Yeah. This is ridiculous." You know. Now, good things, you know, the Matsuda and myself, you know, both or us together. Yeah. If you myself or Matsuda by himself, sure, probably we quit. You know. One day, two days, you know. Over. So you yeah. encouraged each other. Exactly, yes. So mm -hmm. what was the actual karate training like when he actually said, okay, now we're going to start the real training? So we started training outside, outside of the do dojo. Okay. We thought, you know, of course we, we can use the school, the room. Mm. He's, he lived by the school right here. Mm -hmm. You know, his house was there. He's a principal, so. But uh, his front yard as a, you know, the, like a little sand, okay. you know, the, so we, you know, broom and clean, nice, okay, we started, mm. that's it, everybody does, you know, basics, sure. blocks, the kicks, started mm. like that. Did uh, he start teaching you kata right away, or did that no, come No, first of all, we, we do the just, you know, the basic movement, okay. you know, blocks, kicks, you know, the punches, mm. like that, is everything. And it was called Ryu Ryu at that time? 
yeah, that time is already uh, Nakama Kenko Sensei made the name of the Duyei Du. Okay, and that's, that's named after, um, it was named after an individual. Right? Yes, it's a Duyei Duko, which is a Chinese master. Okay. We, you know, the Nakama family went to China, one okay. of the uh, first generation. He learned from Duyei Duko. And the A is, uh, that time Okinawan, they had a Chinese name also. Mm. Then the A is Nakaima family's last name was A. So Du A, Du is a oh, style. So they put it. together and then they named the Du okay. A Du. I can still see some of the Chinese influence in some of the movements of mm -hmm. the kata. You know, there's the, the flowing hands. Yes, you know. yes. I think that's uh, because they kept, the, you know, the family, the fam I mean, the father's son. So in the family, so they didn't, you know, break like that, you know, that different mm. style kind of that way, you know, is a state of pure, you know, the du a du from China, mm. exactly. Got it. Yeah. How many kata are in your du a du? We have uh, what, ex about uh, 11, Nisei Si San Seiru Sei San Sei Yun Chin, Pa Chu, Heiku, Paiku, Ohan, Ani Ana, Anandai, Ohan, Ohan Dai, Pai Ho, actually, Twelve. Mm. And by the time you got into high school, do you think that you knew most of those katas, or no? No. I high school time. Uh, well, I I didn't learn till Anam. Okay. Yes. And when you got into high school, you and Matsuda-san joined the karate club, right? Yes. And that's where you met Sakumoto Sensei. Yes. Okay. He was. Uh, the physical education teacher, is yes, that correct? Yes, he, he was, yes. He okay. Is. And it's my understanding that he, does, he didn't do uh, Ryu Eiryu at the time. He was doing another style of karate? Yes, he, he had already the Goju Ryu. Okay. You know, he has uh, experience in you know, Goju Ryu. Okay. But the Ryu Eiryu is, uh, yeah, uh, after he came to the uh, Nago High School. Time. Okay. Yeah. So did you guys introduce him to... So the... Uh, he was a coach of the Nago High School karate coach. Okay. So the, we trained after we finished the, the club, you know, the high school club, finished around 8 o'clock. Mm. So myself, Matsuda and myself, we were training uh, dueru kata a little bit. Okay. Kind of review, kind of together practice. Okay. So it happened to me, Sakamoto sensei, watch us. Hey. I never see this kind of kata. What is it? Mm. What style? I said, do you do? So, never heard about that. Do you do at that mm -hmm. time? Because n nobody learned from sure. that kind of sense. So, then he asked us, hey, who is your teacher? You know, and then the Nakaima Kenko sensei. Mm. So, take me over there, introduce me to your sensei. Okay. Yeah. And then he agreed to take him on as his student, and obviously it was a good fit for him because uh, he's uh, he's done pretty well for himself. And, yeah. Uh, yes. You know, I would I would say that he's done a lot to help popularize uh, exactly. the yes. art. Exactly. Yeah. So the he has already you know the lot of experience the other style, but it's easy to adapt in you know, the new style. Mm -hmm. So he he go he's also his friend. Other friend, it was a high school PE teacher. Okay. They went together like we, I did with Matsuda. So they they trained a different day, you know, private lesson. We we go different day, you know, the, with them. So that's that's uh, we never get together training because uh, Kenko sensei, you know, too too many or too much different ages. Okay. So then uh, we were like uh, still kids. <laughs> they were more adult and a school teacher too. Got it. Got so it. they can learn more, you know, the diff difficulty technique too. Got we it. are more basics. Yeah. Sensei, when you went to college, you actually studied Wado Ryu for a while. Yes. How was that? The, the reason I, I learned Wado Ryu, because uh, my heart is. They have only wado ryu mm. in the karate in that system. So that's you know I still love to do karate. Okay. So I keep continuing the karate and then, sure. then yeah I I joined the uh, karate club. The kumite techniques are 
pretty good, yeah? Yes, yeah, well, Wadod is very good, mm. very good. I've, I've, I, I think also they, they tend to hold, uh, like when they block and things, it's higher yeah. up, yeah? Most, most uh, high block. I understand, you know, I know that Kumite is that you don't have the style, I mean, your own style kind of thing. Kata, you have a long, you know, the high, you know, blocking, mm. you know, yeah. the low blocking, whatever. But uh, yes, the kata is mostly the Jordan blocking. The, the reason you know, why, because uh, we are very weak the face area, <laughs> then stomach. We, sure. can, we can make strong. Yeah. But uh, Jordan is very hard and face, especially face, if you touch, you already hurt, hurting. Right. So that's why they, the Oscar sensei made, you know, change to a more Jordan block. Got it, yeah. got it. <laughs> And do you think that you still have some of your Wadoryu training that you actually uh, teach, or did you completely separate it? And no, I still my body memorizes like a kumite techniques, mm. so I, I still using those techniques to the you know the uh, training with my students. Got it. Yes. What were you studying in college? I took uh, uh, physical education. Mm. So I want to be the uh, high school PE teacher. <laughs> well, that sounds perfect. <laughs> now, let me ask you, how did you come to the United States? So actually, when I go back, college time, I go back to Okinawa, like mm -hmm. a summer vacation, winter vacation. So I helped Sakamoto Sensei's dojo. So, you know, after we're training, let's go drink, you know, beer. And then we're always talking about dream. Mm. So future, we want to bring to this style to overseas. Mm -hmm. So that's our dream, just talking like that. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the started, kind of. And then how did it, what, what happened from there? So. Each year, actually four years, kind of we kind of this way. Last year, which is, or well, actually I graduated high school, I mean college, and I stayed another year to manage Japan, okay. because I might have a job in manage Japan. Mm -hmm. So I have a chance to get the PE teacher high school in Japan. And then the winter, that's a December. The December, Sakamoto Sensei called me you know, hey, Arashiro, can you take a break, you know, one week, come back to Okinawa? I said, Os, hi. only one word, hi, <laughs> and then go back. And then uh, everybody, like Matsuda, other, you know, senior instructors, I mean, the karate, the yudansha there. So, and then Sakamoto sensei said, hey, Tomohiro, you're gonna go to the United States. That's it. That's it. <laughs> yeah. So you went with your, a different friend, though. Right, came with yeah, a different friend, yeah. So the, the why the, he said the United States, because it, he asked me that, you know, the, you know we're dr dreaming, talking time. Yeah. You know, where you want to go if we go to other country? Mm. Uh, I like the you know, United States. Yeah. So that's, that's why, you know, he said. And then the, he told me, hey, you pick uh, somebody, take with you. So one person is, uh, is uh, very tough. So I, I asked one year Kohai, his name is Kuniyoshi. Mm -hmm. So I said, hey, Kuniyoshi, what do you think? You want to go come with me in the United States? Because he just graduated college also, and then he didn't have a you know, main job, just he does a part-time job. Okay. So he agreed with me. So okay. that's, that's the, <laughs> we came. Now, did you have a sponsor in the United States? Actually, the one Navy guy, American guy. So he said, okay, we're gonna take, he, you know, he had a Okinawan wife and the two kids. Okay. So he said, hey, yeah, I'm gonna take care of them to Sakamoto Sensei. Oh, that's great. So he, you know, picked us up to, you know, Los Angeles airport. Okay. So we came to San Diego. Then. You know, he, he checked his work schedule, you know, Navy Station, and then they said, oh, 
your orders are Washington State, state of Washington. So he got that drive all the way up to the Washington. And then uh, he went to the office. And then they said, hey, the order is not here yet. You have to go back to San Diego. And you guys went with him? We were, we were together with him. So <laughs> we don't know anywhere, you know, so uh -huh. we don't know what to do. So you guys had a good road trip. Exactly, yes, uh -huh. so we did. Interesting. <laughs> Yeah. You told me earlier, though, <laughs> you actually ended up in Alabama first. That's the that's that's original idea was Alabama. Okay. But uh, so Alabama, also, the, he was Sakamoto Sensei's student yes. in, in Okinawa. Uh -huh. Then this guy back to his you know, the home, Alabama. So he wrote a letter to Sakamoto Sensei. I want, if somebody wants to come to the teaching karate in the United States, I gonna sponsor him or them, or whatever. You know? mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, good, good, good things. And then he said, yeah, I'm gonna send two, two guys to you. Mm -hmm. So then he asked, he didn't say until his wife, till the, he got the last letter. So he's, he told his wife, hey, I got two boys from Okinawa, we're gonna sponsor him. What are you talking about? So his <laughs> wife didn't know, so that's why he got a so, she got so upset, and then he wrote back to Sakamoto Sensei. Oh, I'm so sorry. I cannot do it this time. Maybe next time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's so. Uh, it actually it actually worked out. Yes. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Then the the guy, a young guy, while still he was uh, three years older than me, mm. but uh, he said, "Hey, I can sponsor them." Mm. You know. So that's that's a very good timing of everything. <laughs> so you took the trip up to Washington and came back down and then here in Southern California, right. uh, you were able to start exactly. establishing uh, right. your presence here, yes. getting more students yes. and so on and yeah. so forth. Now, you're also really a gardener. You, that, that's, Ye yes. that's what you do, yeah? So the, we couldn't survive just, uh, you know, the recreation, recreation center or park, we mm. started teaching karate. Mm. But not too much income, sure. so we have to, you know, eat. Yeah. <laughs> so then, you know, we met uh, uh, Okinawa person. He mm. he uh, already here, and then he he was also gardener. Okay. And then the, he he introduced somebody else to you know more bigger company. Okay. So we started him Kuniyoshi myself. We started. Uh, you know, the gardening business. I got it. So then nighttime we teach karate. I got it. Yeah. So I know you have four sons. Yes. And a daughter. Yes. We had the great pleasure of meeting Tony today. And all of your sons and your daughter are karate, karateka though. Yes. Okay. Actually, the, you know, everybody started about, you know, five, six years old. Mm. And then until the first son, he, he, I don't know how, how long he did, but he decided no more karate. Okay. The daughter, she married, and they got two boys, and then got a job, so, you know, she doesn't do any more karate. But sure. she always, you know, went back to learning, I mean, you know, the training karate. Nice. But the other three boys, you know, the Brandon, Tony, Michael, they, they're still continuing the karate. Brandon is the oldest one? Brandon is the uh, second oldest one, the okay. Tomonori, is, which is, uh, he doesn't do any more karate. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Well, it's good that at least Tony is still yeah. practicing and, yes. you know, uh -huh. and helping you teach and whatnot. Right, right. And I, I saw some of the videos that he did. Uh, you know, I think this was during the, uh, when everybody had to go online and everything, mm -hmm. you know, so I actually yeah. got a chance to watch some of them and uh -huh. uh, enjoyed them very much, you know, so, yeah. and uh, we're all still here, you know, even after a rough couple of years. Right, right, yes, you know? that's good. Well, actually, the, the pandemic helps uh, me to, you know, help the other countries, mm -hmm. so we cannot go all the time, you know, yeah. the, so the Zoom training, I'm, I'm doing the Zoom training, the, you know, the, South America, Argentina, mm -hmm. Chile, you know, the Mexico, okay. and also the, even the United States, mm -hmm. you know, the Washington, you know, and the Texas, okay. I have a branch, you know, dojo, so the, nice. I can do the Zoom, so. 
Well, I definitely had to, you know, learn how to use Zoom when it first. I was afraid for the first couple of weeks, and I just took two weeks off, and I just watched a lot of movies on Netflix and ate a lot of pizza, and I just started to like change my shape, and I was like, yeah, I gotta get back into this. But I was like, ah, but I don't want to do the Zoom, you know. And then finally, uh, I, we, you know, we opened an account, we were playing around with it, and my my kids, students. They were already doing it because they were doing it in school. So I actually had to ask them. I would say, uh, Max, what do I do now? And he's like, Oh, since you're going to touch this, I said, How do I, how do I let, how do I keep you guys from <laughs> jumping into my conversation? They said, Take, do this, you know, don't let us mute. You know, don't let us unmute. So they're t they're teaching me how to work the buttons as we're going. So I'm getting a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more comfortable. And now I know how to kick kids out of the room. I know how to like not let them talk. I'm a real pro now, you know. So but, you're you know. better than much better than I do. <laughs> I, I I still don't know if my wife is not there. So hey, tonight I'm gonna have Zoom training. You're gonna you're gonna go somewhere. Then you're gonna please sit. Just I'm gonna push this button right. And then she said yes. Then I can do that. I got that's it. that's all I can do. I, I don't it. know. Sometimes I don't know how to open the computer. So. I understand. <laughs> I understand. But you know, if you want to learn technology, just ask a kid because exactly they yes. grow up with yes. it, and it's just yes. it's just so easy yeah. for them. So a lot of times, yeah. I ask my daughter. I said, yeah. Do you know how this works? And you know, that's that's why she beats me at video games so much. You know, we play Street Fighter, yeah. and like ten times we'll we'll fight video games. She beats me nine times. And, <laughs> I think she just lets me win because she feels sorry for me. Yeah, well, if kids is gone, my kids are all, everybody, you know, they have their own, you know, family, you sure, know, the house. Sure. And so they, if my wife is not there, I call, you know, kids, hey, how, what are I going to do? <laughs> what are I going to do? Push, push, you know, exactly, you said at the beginning of your time, you know, push this and this one. I understand. So I still do it that way. Well, my yeah. mother is 90 yeah. years old and she misses VHS tapes and also, when she calls me on the phone and talks to my voicemail, she thinks that I can hear her. So she says, hey, pick up, pick up, you know? So she doesn't realize that it's, it's, oh, it's not like an answering I machine. See, I see, so I sometimes oh, I wow. think she thinks I can hear her, but I'm ignoring her. And I have to tell her, mom, I, don't even, I can't even hear you, you know? Oh. So she struggled a little bit with the technology. Wow. And she doesn't even have a cell phone now. She doesn't want to deal with it. Oh. So she usually yeah. she goes out and she her friend will text me and say, hey, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm out with your mom, yeah, so on and so good. forth. Yeah, that's good. So I wanted to ask again, you know, getting back to karate, mm -hmm. um, how has Ryu Ryu -ri -ri changed? What was the how was it before versus how is it now? And I mean, even as it's performed in tournaments, you know, uh, the you know it, it became part of the Olympics in Tokyo, mm -hmm. and you know there was a very um, yeah. strong dramatic theatrical presentation of even karate in the Olympics. Mm -hmm. um, and then they do the bunkai portion, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. is always entertaining, but I never know what part of the kata that they are. It's like, it, that's really cool. It looks mm -hmm. like I'm looking at a movie, mm -hmm. but I, I, don't, I didn't see that in the kata. <laughs> it's a little bit of a stretch for me to kind mm -hmm. of believe it, you know? Um, so how do you think it's changed? Actually, do you do so? Of course, you know, as you know, the father to son, father to son. So family system. So many, many years, mm -hmm. you know, like 150 years, mm -hmm. you know, and then the, uh, Nakaima Kenko says that fourth generation, he feels you no, know, no more necessary to secret to this style. Mm -hmm. So if we, anybody wants to learn, we can open to the public. Then uh, 1972 which is a uh, high school teacher, 20 high school teachers. Sakamoto sensei get together every, hey, you want to learn the karate, you want to learn the karate, mm. bring from their school teachers. Mm. 20 school teachers started under Nakayama Kenko sensei. Mm -hmm. That's, that's the, you know, the uh, officially opened to the public in 1972. Okay. So Sakamoto sensei, uh, uh, his friend, Kinjo sensei, Matsuda, Myself, we are before the 1972. So that's, that's the you know, 20 major teachers started with yeah. Nakaima Sensei. That's you know, kind of published, that, that, that's a, uh, or, uh, officially do a do open to the public. Okay. Then from there, now uh, Sakamoto Sensei had a chance to go to, you know, he, he was kind of 
always coaching. Mm -hmm. But he said, hey, you guys have to train a little harder. So let's try. I'm going to train hard. You guys are going to train hard. So and then they both, you know, the courage each other, you know, the helping each other. Mm. So one day Sakamoto Sensei was thinking, maybe I'm going to compete. Ah. So he started to compete. And then uh, he got a Japan, you know, the tournament, got mm. a, you know, first place. Yeah. So he got a ticket to the gold world. And then world, he got a right away champion, you know, gold medalist. Mm. So not too many people know this kata, Ryu he did Anna. Mm. So what's this kata? So, and then uh, every two years, this uh, world championship. And then three times he's a world champion. And then they had another, you know, the four times World Games, World Cups, so he got a seven times total. Okay. So the, from the secret, you know, the karate to right away kind of open the world. And then you're talking about the, you know, the 2020, the Olympics. Yeah. That's uh, his, his students, Kiuna Ryo. Yes. He got a gold medalist. So the you you know the Olympic is a, whoever does a, you know the uh, uh, sports that's the, that's their goal top goal. Sure. If you go even though some people go to the Olympic that's very happy you got the first place. Yeah. That's you know it's very you know the uh, unbelievable. Mm. Sakamoto says they put a lot of effort to do it you know growing. And then, uh, of course, the competitions uh, might a little bit adjustment. Sure. So, you know, you can show the little different movement. I mean, not complete changing, but uh, like uh, you said, uh, con uh, you know, that like a bunka is a little bit different. You know, you don't, you don't see it in the kata. I know sometimes few, few movement from the kata 10 different movements, the extra movement, extra <laughs> attacks, you know, those things, so that mm. they, they can show. It's entertaining, so, and you know. you know, I gotta give them credit, they, they do a yeah. great job, uh -huh. of, you know, I mean, yeah. it, it looks pretty spectacular, yeah. you know, but there's always that other part of me that going, but where is it in the kata, guys, you yeah. know, it's so, but I, I, I get it, I get it. Yeah, you know. but you know, the, if you don't train, you cannot do the three people, you know, the, well, of course, the, sure. you know, that's, a, that's a already your training, I'm gonna punch you, you're gonna mm. grab in a, that way, but still, if you don't training, you cannot do yes. exactly that speed and power, yes. everything flipping over, you know, the throwing like that. That's wow. a very, very, you know, the, I, I, I would say that they are pretty amazing, yes, you know, I yes, mean, just, yeah. I mean, I certainly yeah. couldn't do that, you know, <laughs> so, I mean, I am, yeah. you know, very, very impressed with their athleticism yeah, exactly, and yes. the way that they, um, you know, it, it's entertaining and mm -hmm. I think, you know, maybe to keep it interesting as a spectator sport, yes. maybe you almost have to do that yeah. a little bit, you know, and then maybe yeah. as long as you can kind of keep the essence yeah. of karate there, then maybe it's, you know, not such a bad thing, you know. What do you think that your philosophy of karate is? Well, of course, you know, the, uh, we train hard and uh, we learning the techniques, you know, the, those kind of things, you know. But uh, my, uh, not just mine, I hope for all the karate peoples the last goal is that uh, we can be the better person. Mm -hmm. that, that's the, always uh, I feel like this way. Mm -hmm. I know there's a lot of happening, happening, but mm -hmm. everybody, I hope everybody thinking this is last goal right here. Mm -hmm. Main goal is, uh, you know, we can be the better person. Well, uh, karate has definitely changed your life. I mean, it, it yes, changed yes. your destiny. And uh, yes, you as a sensei have been able to be in a position where you've changed other people's lives. I'm sure you know. That's uh, I, I try better way to change. You know, I try. So I know that our life is sometimes uh, tough, but uh, if you train your karate lifetime, you're training karate. I know karate is very tough too. Training, mm -hmm. you know. 
But uh, if you think I, I go through that train, hard training, I can go, I can, you know, the, through this problem too. Mm -hmm. That's, that's uh, help myself, you know. Mm -hmm. So uh, I believe every other people, other teachers too, they feel the same way too. You know, I had a chance to uh, interview Demura Sensei, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. um, you know, one of the things he says is "ichi nichi ichi zeng." You know, oh, where, you know, yes. every day, yeah. yes. if everybody in the mm -hmm. world just did one good mm -hmm. thing, mm -hmm. then it would change the world. And yes. uh, I, yes. I love that, yeah. and yes, I just think great. that uh, yeah. if you just everybody just did one good thing every day, then it would be a better world for mm -hmm. sure. You know. Um, so let's hope that you know more people can do <laughs> one good thing every day. That's true. Yes. But uh, yeah. you know, certainly, I think that uh, yeah. you're doing that. And you, you know, I had met you once. I think once before in Gardena. You mm -hmm. know, through the uh, Okinawa Association. Mm -hmm. You know, and then um, Hiroshi Yamauchi. Mm -hmm. uh, we were talking about you this mm -hmm. week, and I said, you know, there's, there might be a possibility of um, through um, Marcus mm -hmm. Sensei Marcus mm -hmm. McCammon to mm -hmm. uh, interview you, mm -hmm. and he said. Arashiro Sensei is super mm -hmm. cool, great guy, great karate man, and I'm so pleased that you know uh, you were everything that you know everything that everybody has told me about you is like oh it's true he is very humble he's a nice guy your karate is good and I'm not saying this to embarrass you but it's, it's saying it's because it's true um, and uh, I, I thoroughly enjoyed my time here with you now if you if this was like, let's say, your last day, you know, you knew, and you get to spend the last day with your students, mm -hmm. what would be the one lesson that you'd want to be able to teach them and say, hey, guys, listen to this and remember this? What would be, what would be that last lesson for you? I hope I don't say last words. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Just. Uh, uh, I don't. I can find a word to I, what I want to say. Mm. But uh, like I want to say, actually, so everybody has good things better than other people. Mm -hmm. So you proud of yourself, and you whatever you want to do, you know, you, you can do. Continue to reach your goal. That's uh, you know, that's you know. Some people say, "Oh, I, I'm the best one. I'm the best one." Uh -huh. No, somebody is better than you, and sure. you are better than somebody else. Something, not everything, but something. This something is very important. So that's that's why that's I want to push them to you know that I want them to know you have something better than other people. Mm -hmm. That's uh, so you trust yourself, you know, kind of that way. Yeah. Well, I think those are very powerful words and mm -hmm. possibly life-changing and not only the, the words but just the way that you lead by example mm -hmm. you don't have to say anything you know people can see how you are and you know how you are on the inside how you treat people and you're affecting them very positively maybe even without having to say something well you know and I'm sure that you've probably had kids and parents that you trained many, many years ago that maybe grew up and had their own families and then came back and said, you know, Sensei, thank you so much for this is what I learned from you. So I think, uh, you know, we, Karate Sensei are very, very important, you know, teachers in general, but, yes. you know, martial arts instructors have a very per important position in our society. And I think we do a lot of good. And we try to do one good thing every day. <laughs> That's true, yeah. That's good things, yeah. Somebody, some, you know, one day, you know, somebody came, hey, oh, sensei, you remember me? I'm sorry, I don't know you who, you know, they are growing too much, right? Sure. Yeah. I learned you, you know, the karate, you know, 20 years ago, something like that. It's yeah. happy, you know, those people's success now, you know. Yeah. You know, so that's, a, it's very happy, you know, that you see those kind of people, you know. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I wanted to thank you again. Oh, so thank, thank you, you so much. Uh, I had a great, great time with you and an honor and a pleasure. And I, I look forward to seeing you again and hopefully training again. I hope we, we can do again. In the very thank near you future, you know. Yes. And, uh, you know, Sensei Marcus and I are, you know, we're brothers. Yes. And uh, now yeah. I get a chance to be family with you and Tony Sensei. Yes. So my, fam yeah. my karate family is growing yeah. bigger and yeah. bigger every day. Yeah. So.
next time, <laughs> next time uh, I can introduce uh, my other sons too. <laughs> ah, that would be great. And next time we'll bring some spam moves to be. Okay, great, <laughs> great. Well, this has been 52 Masters with William Christopher Ford and the great Arashiro Sensei, and we'll see you next time. Oh. Yeah, you're like a regular movie star. What are these dudes? That's his shoulder. Good thing I wore my shirt. Yeah. <laughs>